I wanted to share some information with you on chapter one about the basic accounting equation. Now the basic equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets are things that we own that have value. So some examples might be cars or buildings, cash, land, things that a business might own that have value. Liabilities are what we owe. Let's write that down. This is what we own. This is what we owe. What we owe to creditors. So for example, if we took out um, a bank loan to buy our building, the loan mortgage would be a liability. Or let's say that we purchased tables and chairs for a donut shop. I love donuts. So in our donut shop, we bought tables and chairs and we owe money on those. That will be a liability. Maybe we purchase supplies, flour, sugar, sprinkles for on the donuts, and we owe money to those suppliers. That will be a liability. Owner's equity is the worth of our business after you subtract what we owe from our assets. So let's say, for example, that we're starting a brand new business and as we get going, uh, we know we're going to need some startup money. So let's say we put $3,000 into this business. If we do that, our business will have $3,000 in cash as an asset. If we haven't purchased anything yet, it's just a brand new business. So far, that would be zero that we owe. And then our worth in the business would be $3,000. So just this is a simple example, owner investing in the business. Um, as our business grows, perhaps we decide that we need a delivery van for these donuts. And there are a number of different ways we could do this. Maybe we have a $25,000 van that we already own as an individual and we want to donate it to the business to help the business get started. If that van is worth $25,000, then that's an asset we own that has value. and that increases our equity in the business by $25,000. We would increase the amount of assets and increase the owner's equity in the business. There are other ways we could do that, however. Maybe we decide that we would rather take out a loan for the business and buy a van. Let's say we purchase the $25,000 van for our business and we borrowed $10,000 to do it. And the rest of it we paid for without a loan. So part of it, we, um, we got a loan for part of it and the rest of it we paid cash for. We have a $25,000 van. We owe 10,000 on it and 15,000 is the worth of our business. Um, after that particular transaction. So after every transaction that occurs, your assets still have to equal your liabilities and your owner's equity. This basic accounting equation is something we will revisit again and again and again and again, clear up until the last week of this course, you will still be using this basic accounting equation. Now the equation is also impacted as we take a look at operating this business so it's profitable and the owner can take money home. Um, the primary reason for going into business is to generate a profit so that you can pay bills for your family, buy a house, buy a car, buy a boat, uh, take vacations, get some groceries, shoes for the kids to go to school. We want to buy these things with the income that the business generates and we take that out through drawing. So let's say you own the donut shop and you've had an excellent month of profits and you're going to take some money out for personal use. It's completely legal. It's what you should be doing if you own a business. So let's say you're going to take uh, $2,000 out of the business. You're going to subtract $2,000 of cash. You don't owe anything to anybody because of this, but it is going to decrease the worth of your business by $2,000 because that $2,000 is no longer in the business's bank account. You have taken it out for personal use and it's called withdrawal. Okay. Um, we will also have expenses in the business that impact this equation, and we'll also have revenue. Now I mentioned we had a really good month and that's why we got to take some money out for personal use. Um, but let's say um, 
as we're looking at that really good month we had, that we took in, um, and I'm just making the numbers up, but let's say $8,000 in sales of donuts, that's $8,000 in cash, that's gonna increase our assets by 8,000, and it's gonna impact our owner's equity through revenue. I'm gonna write REV for revenue, and our revenue is increased by $8,000, our worth, because of the money that we made selling donuts. Now we also have some expenses. Um, we had to pay employee wages, we had to pay light bills, we had to pay taxes. Um, let's just say the utilities this time, and that we spent $300 um, on utilities this month. We would have to subtract $300 in cash for what we paid, and then we would decrease owner's equity by $300 because of that expense. Um, expenses, EXP for expenses, um, are a division of owner's equity and we're decreasing both sides of the accounting equation. Um, on each side of the equal sign, we're taking off $300 for the utilities expense on both sides. After every single transaction, you've still got to end up with assets equaling liabilities plus owner's equity. It's the basic accounting equation, and you'll need to memorize it.